Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna be checking out BRS's ROX 0.8 Carbon. This is one of the easiest to use and highest performing carbons that reefers have at their disposal for tackling a pile of different problems that we face with our tanks. Reefers use carbon for a variety of reasons, like removing yellowing pigments from the water that can block out a good chunk of PAR from our lights, eliminating tank odors, removing toxins, medications, and so on. It has long been a staple form of chemical filtration across all of the aquarium hobby, and likely will be for a long time due to its affordability and its ease of use. Not all carbon is made equal though, and there are several factors that play into how effective a particular type of carbon is going to be, or how easy it's going to be to maintain when it comes to our reef aquariums. How hard, soft, or dusty the carbon is, how easily it rinses clean, how porous it is, what size the pores are, how much surface area it provides, even its shape and how easily water can flow through it evenly plays a part in a particular type of carbon's effectiveness. BRS's ROX 0.8 is one of the best choices out there for reefers. It's pharma grade, it is very hard, which means it has way less dust and rinses clean in seconds. It's made from a proprietary blend of raw carbon materials with various pore sizes, making it effective on a wider range of contaminants and toxins than other forms of carbon. And its tiny pelletized shape is specifically designed for use in water and helps water to flow through the carbon evenly while preventing channeling. All of these factors come together to make ROX 0.8 the best performing and easiest to use carbon of the bunch when it comes to our reef tanks. ROX 0.8 is available in four sizes, a quarter gallon container, a half gallon container, a one gallon container, and a five gallon bucket. This is another one of those places where buying in bulk stacks on those savings pretty quickly. Using the smallest quarter gallon container as a reference, you'll save 25% on your carbon by going up to the half gallon container, around 35% going up to the one gallon container, and if you have the ability to use it all, a whopping 43% on a five gallon bucket. Being real though, I don't even know how long it would take me to go through five gallons of this carbon. I personally find that the sweet spot is in the one gallon container, balancing savings with buying in bulk, you get a lot and it's gonna be enough to go a long way for the average reefer, especially since you need to use less of it than you would with other types of carbon. The recommended usage or dosage amount of ROX 0.8 is one tablespoon per 10 gallons of aquarium water, which is half the amount you typically need using your standard grade aquarium carbon. Some quick math and this one gallon container will last the average 100 gallon reef right around one year, assuming you're swapping it out every two weeks or so. There are a couple different ways you can implement carbon. You can simply toss the carbon into a media bag, give it a quick rinse and place it into a high flow area of your sump, but you'll get best performance using it in a media reactor that forces the water through the carbon and doesn't get clogged with debris and biofilm like the outside of a media bag typically will. Just make sure that whatever reactor you use is able to sandwich the carbon so that it can't tumble since that can create more dust. There are a number of reactors that will fit that description, but the BRS reactors work really well for this. How long any particular carbon is going to last and how frequently you should change it is going to depend on a number of factors. In general though, I like to change carbon out every couple of weeks, even if it isn't fully depleted. After a couple of weeks, the effectiveness of carbon can really start to fall off as it becomes covered in debris and biofilm, which is also why I tend to use the recommended amount of carbon rather than more, since adding more generally doesn't translate to being able to leave it in any longer, and it is definitely better to swap out the correct amount of carbon more frequently. Carbon in general is a very flexible and useful tool in a reefer's tool belt and something I like to keep on hand at all times, even if I'm not using it religiously. If using activated carbon is a part of your reefing mantra as well, and you'd like to try one of the cleanest and most effective options out there, you can give this ROX 0.8 a try by clicking right here. That's the one.